Hello everyone and welcome to another IBM Developer video series, Cloud Native CI CD with Tecton Part 2. My name is Dewan Ahmed and I'm a developer advocate at IBM. In part 1 of this video series, we covered the basics of Tecton. In part 2, we have a simple demo for you. We have our source code on GitHub and we'd like to build an image and push it to Docker Hub. Tecton is sitting in the middle to all the magic. The magic has five steps. Step one, we create the Kubernetes secret and service account. Step number two is where we create the Tecton pipeline resources. In step three and four, we create the task and task run. And finally, we observe the task run for status and logs. Now you might wonder why we're not using a pipeline here. Since this is one simple task, usage of a pipeline is an overkill. A pipeline makes sense where you have multiple tasks, which is likely in your production workload. In order to follow along with the demo, you will need few prerequisites. You'll need access to a Kubernetes cluster. I'm using IBM Cloud Kubernetes service, but any Kubernetes cluster will do. You'll also need installation of Tecton CLI and the Tecton controller. Links to all of this will be in the accompanying article. Let's look at um, the uh, connection to the Kubernetes cluster uh, version command should tell me if I'm connected to a Kubernetes cluster. It looks like I am. By the way, do you do kubectl or kubectl? Uh, what do you say? Uh, I interchange both, um, but I mostly use kubectl. So let's uh, have a, a look at the, the secret file. If you are following along, please replace line number 9 and 10 with your own Docker Hub username and a password. If you're not using Docker image registry and some other image registry, you need to change line number 6 as well. This YAML file specifies a secret which you can see in line number 2 and the name is specified as basic user pass docker. We'll do a kubectl apply-f docker secret and here i'm using the actual secret file so the secret is created next we need to create a service account so let's look at the service account yaml file uh, it's very simple line number four shows name of the service account and line number six shows the service account will have the secret which we previously created uh, so the secret gets attached to this service account another kubectl apply-f service account so the service account got created so now let's go to step number two which is creating the pipeline resources so we have two pipeline resources let's look at the first yaml file for uh, the docker resource so in in this file uh, again uh, the kind is pipeline resource uh, and uh, we're specifying the the docker image registry where we'll have our image pushed we do a kubectl apply dash f docker resource and let's look at the the git pipeline resource uh, similar structure uh, the the last line shows um, the the github url so this is a public url uh, public github repository so we don't need to specify our git credentials uh, to read source code from this repository kubectl apply and this is git resource so our two pipeline resources got created now we are moving to step three which is creating the tasks so before we create the task let's look at the task.yaml file in this file we have specified the kind to be task in line number two uh, the name of the task itself which is build docker image from git source and then we're specifying the inputs uh, the git source to be consumed uh, we are also specifying the, the the build tool which is canico in this case finally line number 25 onwards you can see the steps within this particular task in part one of this video series we specified that step is the basic building block of tecton and multiple steps mean there is a task or 
or a task could have multiple steps within it. So we can also see the various steps when we actually have the logs from our task run. But before that, we will need to create these tasks. So let's do kubectl apply dash f task.yaml. So our task got created and we can use tkn task ls to list the task which was created five seconds ago. But now the most important part is creating the task run which is the instance of this task. So let's look at the task run yaml file. Um, so line number six is very important where we can see that the task run uses that service account which we previously created tekton-sa and we know that the service account has the docker secret within it we are seeing line number eight the reference to the task which we just created uh, uh, from as task ref and since it's task run it's it, it brings on all the runtime information like the, the docker the git source and, and, the, and the docker target uh, which you can see in line number 11 uh, and line number 23. So let's do a kubectl apply dash f task run and our task run is now created. Now that the task run is created we can monitor this task run. So we can go to our docker hub to ensure that no builds or images exist there so that when our task run pushes the image that is the only image there we can do a task run ls that lists the task runs so we have only one task run that is currently running we can now copy that task run and do a tkn task run logs to see the logs since this is a Node.js application, you can see the final steps of build and push where it exposes port 3000. Now we can also do tkn task run describe, which is a detailed version of the list command. Here under steps, you can see there are four steps for this particular task. And now the status shows succeeded. That means if we go to our docker hub right now we should expect to see the image we refresh the page and we have the image since we didn't specify the tag the default latest tag is applied so it shows just now the image was pushed that brings us to the end of this part two of cloud native ci cd with tecton in the last and final part of this video series, we'll be covering more advanced concepts, Tecton pipelines and Tecton triggers. Till then, take care.